welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm gonna do something that some of you requested in the comments and that's how do you render your files how to render animations you've created in After Effects and I'm gonna go over two I don't know every every option there is about rendering your stuff I know two or kind of three maybe options that I m always use I'm gonna explain how to do that so I have this little animation here in After Effects to just I made this just to show you uh, how to render something and we can do this in two ways we can render something in After Effects or in the Adobe Media Encoder and first off we're going to render this in After Effects so I have my timeline selected and I go to file export add to render queue and it will open my render queue right here in After Effects and then I have this output module click that and then you get your settings and you have a couple of settings here and I'm going to use QuickTime for now because that's, that way we'll create an animation, an, an, um, an MOV file that is uncompressed and has the best quality of colors and resolution and everything. So we're going to go to QuickTime and then for my format options, it's, uh, I'll leave it at animation. Animation, this is the best thing to go for uh, when creating vector animations. It will be a big file though, but it's uncompressed and like the, the best possible resolution or quality you can get. So, okay, animation, that's fine. And then uh, this channels, let's leave it at RGB. I'll come back to this later, but now it's RGB. And then our output audio, uh, audio output is on auto, so it will detect if there is any audio in your file, in your timeline, or in your composition. So it will render that with it. Hit okay, and then here output two, output two you can select your uh, destination. Where do you want to save it? So select something and then hit render. and there you go, this will render out now. The only downside to this is you cannot use After Effects while it's rendering, you, can, you can't do anything. So you have to wait, luckily it's going pretty fast, but you can't do anything while it's rendering. So let's say you're rendering a video you made of two minutes long, it could take a little while. This only was like eight seconds or something, so that went pretty fast, but just keep that in mind. And another thing with what we can do, let's say I'm gonna uh, turn off this background and then you can see this uh, all these little uh, this checker marks um, so this is an alpha layer this means that if i render this out right now with the right settings it will render it with a, with a transparent background so let's say you're editing something in uh, premiere adobe premiere uh, a video and you want to add some animation on top but you you don't want that animation to have a background you want it to be transparent you want it to stay on top of the video so that's what uh, that's when you need to uh, deselect your background and you have this little button here and you can see uh, you can toggle your uh, your transparency grid kind of um, so when I turn it turn this on like this go to file export again and then render queue again and then in the lossless file I go to QuickTime again and format options again at animation but now I'm, uh, for the channels I'll select RGB plus alpha so this alpha layer will secure me that this will be a transparent video so only the things you see here only your art artwork will render out and the rest will be transparent so keep in mind if you render this out and you look this video you, know, you watch it back in like VLC or QuickTime or whatever the background will be black um, but if you're uh, if you're uh, editing it at a edit sorry Jesus if you're adding this to your edit program then the transparency will be visible or not visible uh, so hit OK and then you can render this out again I'm not gonna do that now because we'll have to wait but that's a way to uh, render it with a transparent background so we're gonna delete these for now and what you can also do is of course it's a queue so you can add multiple uh, compositions to this queue and then hit render and it will all render them one after the other but still you cannot use After Effects for that so what if you want to render your video and still keep using your program your edit program we're gonna turn this back on we're gonna file export add to Adobe Media Encoder and the Adobe Media Encoder is a program by Adobe specially made only made for the sole purpose of rendering your files so that will go uh, first of all it will go a lot faster and you can still keep working within After Effects when doing that so I have my Media Encoder opened here and it's gonna pop up any second right here I hope so here we are and you can already see here it's H264 and that's the 
uh, codec we want when we want to render our video and a small file size and as an mp4 so let's say you're using your video on instagram or facebook or on youtube or whatever you want a file you want a small file size but you also want your video to be hd and have great color and that's where h264 comes in so when i click that it will open my module settings and then here it's format h264 and for the output name here you can select where you want to save this file audio and video and you can see here it's 1920 by by 1080 uh, and it's the estimated file size is like only 10 MB so that's really small so hit OK and then here you can press play to render everything that's in the queue so you can of course add a whole lot of things to this queue and it will render them all um, at once so if I press play right now and I go back into After Effects I can still use After Effects no problem while in the background Media Encoder queue is rendering so that's a great way to render your mo most of your files so I mostly use or I always use uh, Media Encoder Queue for creating uh, MP4s because you cannot do that in After Effects. And I use After Effects when I want my full resolution video um, or when I want it to have a transparent background like this. So that's it. That's all, that are the three ways that I use. Uh, I used to I, I use to render my animations all of the time. I hope you learned something from this. And if you have any questions ask them in the comments down below thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next tutorial on camp keyframe thanks bye bye